thing is in regards to what good is a woman for other than sex? To me, that's a childish mentality because is she feeding your mind? Aside from she's cooking and cleaning and to, is she feeding your mind? Is she pushing you to the next level? Is she helping you progress in your life? How is she helping you along your journey? Those are the things that I'm looking for. You, you know, we talk about being equally yoked all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, there's things much deeper than oh, what can you do for me other than sex? If you're just basing it off of finances and sex, okay, like that's a real- Immature. Yes, immature. Like you say, his dick might not always work or her stuff may not be able to, whatever, whatever. But so it has to be more substance than just sex. Exactly. This is such a shallow conversation. Like this is some, it's very child. Like it's just very surface. But the thing about it is like this, you know, as, as childish as the conversation is, like for some reason, this is a conversation that, is constantly circulating on social media everywhere, you know, and it's just, Mm -hmm. when you hear it, it's childish. Like, so basically a woman is, if she's, if she's just good for sex, what if she's not, if she can't provide you with just sex, what else is she good for? Because his, his whole thing was, um, she's the one woman on this side is saying, um, he, okay, he buy the house. I make the house a home. I cook the meals. I do this. I do that. So his response to that is, well, I could buy. I could pay somebody to come cook. I could pay somebody to come clean the house. So all the services you're offering could be bought. Is what he's telling her. Like, so what do I need you for? When that is really a childish mentality to me, because yeah. you know your partner is supposed to help you and push you and help you progress to the next level to accomplish goals and you know build an empire together. Pretty much, like we're not just looking at sex and okay, what what are you good for? Yeah, right. only going exactly. from one just this one angle. It's just coming from one angle. It's just like that um, when they say. When they say the guy, remember I said, there's someone say, well, can you cook? I said, can you build a house? Like, mm-hmm. I ain't miss a breath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But before we get any deeper, you guys, <laughs> welcome to Black Women Heal Show. As you can see, we already deeply immersed into the conversation. Ladies, welcome, say hello to welcome. the family, on it. We're here, baby. Hello. What's going Chloe? on? Hello, hey, hello. Man. Listen, what's listen, up, listen. What's listen. Up? All right, all right, all right. We're recording this on Friday the 13th, <laughs> so we've been having many, many technical difficulties, okay? So right. eat some shit on YouTube if you hear some shit on the podcast. You just platform, hear some shit. Just bear with us, okay? We just letting you know off the top. We've been having some technical issues, but y'all already know what the topic is about today. We taking sex off the motherfucking table and we gonna get real deep and find out what the fuck is the problem. All okay? off. What is we bringing to the table? Okay, for those of us who are still single and not married, and if we are married, what the fuck can we do to step our goddamn game up, okay? And keep a, help, a happy house and a happy spouse, okay? Um. So yeah. We take we, we so Cheyenne. Okay, do this, Cheyenne. <laughs> read the read the content that you found on the internet that sparked this conversation and topic idea, so that everybody knows where we're kind of like coming from. Uh, we're not going to say the platform. If you've seen the meme or the content, you already know what it is because we don't promote nobody shit for free, baby. Okay, Facts. So, that's yeah. it. So I quote: "This is a male speaking from a male perspective, asking the females." What you're bringing to the table is a service that can be paid for versus what a man has to bring to the table for your life. You can't buy somebody to buy you a home. I can buy somebody to cook and clean my house. I can't buy a person to come give me a house, give me a car, take care of me. Then he went on to further say, if I pay every bill in this house and fix everything what are you bringing to the table other than sex? If financially I'm taking care of everything. I'm like, he bringing pussy to the table. Shit. He said like <laughs> he want to be taken care of too. These men today are like. I mean, it's else. a whole different breed. It's, yeah, it's dis- mm. yeah. I ain't. Yeah. To each it's- his own, but I haven't met a morph to that. Like, I believe a man should be a man. And um, both of me and my man are breadwinners. So, right. like, that's it. That's all. Now, I mean, of course, there's 
more to unpack, but that's my short answer to that. You're mad and mature, and you sound like you got a little bit of mm, coochie. <laughs> or like he didn't or he didn't get none when he was in high school or exactly. you know, college a combination you know, he wanted a little the little boot, so... what they call it boochie <laughs> <Bucci. laughs> well i don't even know i don't know if that's what it's called but he because... wanted to give some of that booty up <laughs> what yeah i don't even merch that's all i gotta say <laughs> that's a whole mess what is booch he, well, he don't got a coochie, but he got a boochie. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, he wants somebody to go take care of his boochie. Mm. <laughs> <Man. Well. laughs> that was that right there, just like Cheyenne said, that Lord, That's a whole he done went from a seven down to a damn three. Damn that he went to a one because that is so surface. What if you didn't right. have the finances? And you know, money <laughs> or what if you lose your finances? I mean, or it, what if right, you, exactly. you lose your health and then your finances go as a result of you losing your health. Like so many things could happen, and you and she might be able to step it up and do like a Nene and Greg from Real Housewives. Y'all know when <laughs> right. the show started, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Greg was the was breadwinner. The bread mm-hmm. Now, it appears Nini as if... Exactly. Nini so is. don't sleep on your coochie because you're trying to give up that boochie. <laughs> 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 I can't. He just sound like he want to he wanna be taken care of. He's jealous of F- females you know we the, the at the at the mm-hmm. end of the day mm-hmm. the man is supposed to be a protector and a provider not a taker right and a thirst bucket real thirsty yeah it's like, drink where they up. come from yeah, so I'm the flip really side so the flip side of that actually you said the man is supposed to be protected protector and a provider so give us a definition of what the wife is supposed to be there in your perspective your, she you is supposed to be like the softer side of things, like especially if she's a mother. So she may have some parenting going on, which he should obviously be parenting as well. But I don't know. I have to think of a name for her, like a, like how I was able to quickly say what the man was. I need to be able to quickly say what the female should be. You know what I mean? So. I don't have like two or three words to like I do for the man. So I have to think of that real quick. So are there any other reasons like why this. you guys are offended by the question when y'all hear it? It's I'm not, I'm not offended. It's just, I'm not offended. It's just rude. I'm, yeah, it's, I'm not Yeah, I'm not offended, but it's just like so shallow and immature. Like the ladies have like it's kind of it's a small way of it's a small way way of thinking. That's yeah, the easy route. That's, that's the easy Perfect. route to go. Right. And it's like it's like there's so many other things that you can focus on in this scope, and you're gonna go directly to money. Yeah, he's not that because he doesn't well, he want said to that he doesn't home. need he doesn't need a woman for money. He said he doesn't necessarily need a wife or a living girlfriend for sex because he sounds like somebody that can probably get it from anybody he chooses if he got the game and if he has the look when he's out and he can, you know, he can game any female he wants to a certain extent. But, or he can right. pay but what he for, gonna a high, do? for a high what class prostitute. Gonna- you know well, what I'm saying? Well, then he can do that. That's so his preference. Just, right. But I'm Fine. just saying. But I'm just saying. But don't if pit it up man, against a regular mm-hmm. woman who doesn't do that. You know what I mean? Like, there's not. If that's what he wants, that's fine. But it doesn't sound like the panel of women that he was speaking with are of that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So no. But it's but it mm. sounds like he's he's been dealing with so many women thinking that their what's between their legs is enough that's what it yes. sounds like no yeah you know i'm saying and if you think about that. the culture no, i can agree and, with and that the culture mm-hmm. that is today of many 20 year olds right um and young mm-hmm. women and men mm-hmm. you know it's all about the quick turn up then a lot of them are not looking for love in the, right. in the sense of mm-hmm. long-term compatibility um, even Chris Brown has said in like epi- uh, episodes of interviews, he's been like, you know, it's all about the turn up culture. We don't want to get married. You know what I'm saying? And he's closer to our age actually, actually than somebody that's 20 or 19. Mm-hmm. 
but mm -hmm. you know his um you know that's how his he thinks, image, and that's how a lot of yeah. them think and so mm -hmm. being somebody it's not like the man whoever wrote the the content whoever's content it is the content creator that said that it sounds like he's somebody with options right and so a man with options he can right. pay for a maid he can pay for the living chef. Mm -hmm. you know right. What I'm but saying? he sounds so unhappy. We're we talking about that There's kind nothing, of a man. He just sounds what unhappy, though. Well, he's unhappy with the type of women, the kind of women that he's one attracting, and number two, that he keeps coming across. And the, the third issue is that he could get someone who can support him in other ways fin that's not financial and that's not sexual, but he may not even want her because maybe she's too opinionated. You know what I'm I was saying? just about so, to say she's probably too dominant for him. Like the woman who can buy her house for him and can do all those things for him, he's either not attracted to her to her. She might have a certain look, or mm -hmm. and or I'm not. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm trying to be raw and real. No, this look, is realistic. you know what I mean. Be real right. shit about this, yeah. You know sure. what I mean. This is so he, lies. You know what I mean. So either not attracted to her, that type of woman, and or he may not be attracted to her because of her dominance and her the depth that he has to go into. Because again, like we Too have said work. over and over, he's speaking real surface level. He's dealing with real surface level, shallow type of women. There's no. uh you know, like the, the 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 shallow end of the pool. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As soon as you get in, bam, you're there. It's over. No, bam. but I think. Uh, you know what I mean? That's where he's at. So there's nothing going on. But I think well, also, like he's talking about, you know, it's a lot of women out here, realistically speaking, that base how much a man make on whether or not they deal with them. So I guess. Going to what Mo said, if he's somebody that's financially secure and then it's like, OK, what are you bringing to the table? You want all these things in a man. What are you bringing to the table aside from being able to open your legs? What are you bringing to the table? Mm -hmm. Which yes, I that, yeah. that speaks to the type of women that he's associating with in his that around. Could any woman. That, that could be any one of us with a, but with a master's degree or doctorate. Because but because it, but it, do you think that he would be dating a group of doctors? Let's just say doc women that are doctors saying this. No, he wouldn't because not, they don't have the time for that for the kind of man that he is. He needs somebody, and to I be think available. that's what the you know what I'm exactly. saying. Exactly. So that's he's not he's, he's not, he's not, so, he's but, not going for ambitious women because they don't well, have the time to gets. pour into him mm -hmm. the way that he prefers. That's what he gets. What? You, get what you know what I'm saying? This is what this is get. what I gather from it. It just is that. There's so many different he, ways he Yeah. Yeah, it, it really <laughs> is. But like the way the way I'm seeing it is is that he want someone that's kind of convenient for him. Mm -hmm. However, he doesn't want to deal with someone that could be a challenge in, in one way. Honey, you're going to have challenges either way you look at it, mm -hmm. whether you deal you with, with someone of a high a credit card, high intelligence, or right. somebody that's there just for the turn up. Right. You're going to have some type of a challenge. But the right. question is, what Which type of challenge one? are you willing to have? Right. Like they say, he sound like describe he your type of horse. He mm -hmm. want to challenge his flesh, not his mind. He's right. going so with what looks good and what's appealing and what's everybody's going to think when she walk, when I walk right. in the room with her, she's popping. But the bitch is right. fucking yeah, everything else that he... And shit. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And, and, I, and that's like, some low vibrational shit the right petty there. Cash. Low vibrational. Mm -hmm. They can't even keep low vibrational. <laughs> yeah, low vibrational. And, and the I thing think is, that's is the key that word if, for this. Low he's vibrational by, because yeah, the whole thing low. is is that that type of energy that you, whatever you put out, you Real. will get back. You're a magnet, baby. So look, you it is what it is. You Take your heart. <laughs> he's probably That's he's right. probably one of those flashy ass men with a little change in his pocket, yep. make a couple hundred mm -hmm. thousand dollars a year, and he and he's he's on and see this is this is why we always say you got to look at the billionaires of the world. How are they dressing? How are they living? Okay. And you can match them energy so you can get into some of this 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 wealth, generational wealth. Let me because tell you, a something. man who has a lot of money and has his shit together emotionally, spiritually, and mentally, you're not going to be able to tell by looking at him if he got money. Okay, mm -hmm. facts. He's going to be your Mark right. Zuckerberg. Facts. They in whatever fashion, like a man, whether that's brown skin, light skin, Puerto Rican skin, whatever. 
he gonna be a Mark Zuckerberg motherfucker wearing white tees and shorts and shit, looking like somebody's daddy walking across the street. And you can be like, what the fuck? Right. You ain't even gonna exactly. give him the time of day. Or he gonna be your Russell Wilson type of dude. That's you gonna call him a simp. So y'all gotta figure out what the fuck y'all want. Right. Shit. And just to piggyback off of that, and like you said, like looking at the billionaires and stuff like that, because a couple years ago when my friend he got he got married, right? And they said, oh, that's Steven Spielberg, his yacht. And it, it was all black. It was, she was popping. It really was. As Ashley says, that I shit was popping. <laughs> and we were, I was in my best friend's wedding. And we are walking. And I had to do a double blink. Because Steven Spielberg was walking directly towards me. This mm. man had on a, his baseball cap. He had on a white mm-hmm. shirt, jeans, beat up shoes and everything. I was like... I said, oh shit, it's was speaker. He was like, you look beautiful in your dress. I said, thank you. Just as nice, this is come. You would never know. Yeah, because y'all call them You would shit never like know. Yeah, they be calling them simps. Yeah. And all that stuff. That's the new word simp. Because he, he's know. so quick to judge right. a book by its by its cover. But guess what? No matter, you can judge that book all you want, but you'll never never know the depths of the concept of the book if you don't take the Open time to up. apply yourself. You could be that book too. Yeah, you but be- you rather go ahead and be the little dollar notebook that's in the store. That's where you would rather be at and fill it up with a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, but Ashley, you def- y'all definitely hit it on the head, especially Ashley when she said, you know, he's a tr- y'all, you know, you matching energies. So whatever this young man is dealing yes. with, it's a reflection of himself. Exactly. And so he's dealing with these shallow ass women. He's walking around giving off shallow. He's energy. a shallow ass man. Exactly. He's, he's yeah. Yeah. shallow and, energy. You know what I mean? And then if he is, and if he do got a fucking couple of dollars to throw around, more power to him. That's great. And that's fabulous. But I think a lot of times too, and this is another point that I had on my notes, um, was where are we supposed to, where, where should the family go to meet people that they want to have more in-depth relationships with? So for instance, a lot of people want to do the turn up thing. They want to go to the club and think they're going to find something meaningful out of it. Now, it does happen every now and again, but it is not, you know, most of your circumstances that you're going to find in those types of places or even just your your, lo- your local loafers or your local, um, uh, you know, green turtle or some shit like that. Even those places are kind of mm-hmm. sketchy trying to meet meaningful people and have meaningful relationships and stuff like that. So, yeah, like, all the. All the places that they call be calling Simpson stuff. Oh, that's funny. Barnes and Noble and all this kind right. of stuff. I met one of my boyfriends years ago at the Barnes and Nobles in New York. Mm-hmm. Didn't know mm-hmm. what he did. Did not, you know, he didn't, spe- he didn't specify. But that's a whole different topic. But meeting him the way that I met him in the bookstore, mm-hmm. in the co- studying of spirituality on Kabbalah. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to meet people when you're doing things you like. Mm-hmm. So like I used to like to like libraries, like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Same thing, bars and nobles, like I doing things that you like. That may not be like your thing, listener, but whatever your thing is, like that's the best way. The club, the bar, like weird stuff like that. You're mm-hmm. gonna get people that energy dressed up You're best for that night one night <laughs> that stand night. energy right the dispensary like, if you the, like yeah. if you are a weed connoisseur marijuana connoisseur you know you might find some exactly of quality like, in a dispensary places that you, you know what i'm saying that you frequent and sometimes it's soda. even it's sick nah, <laughs> no, not necessarily but you don't know, like, because they could be there to get an upsell situation for just that, In that time. Case, you need to be so paying you never know. Okay. You never, they exactly. Well, she's that part. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Bottom shelf mean they be there. Nailed it. Yeah, they be in that, that bitch every day. That, uh, that O.E. or that guy. Uh, <laughs> that dog no goddamn part. good, okay? Okay. We not doing none of that. So, That's a mess. do y'all think it's fair <laughs> for women to ask men that? Since it's not okay for them to ask us, and we and we have an issue with that, is it okay for women to ask that question? Because we we've been doing it for a long time, you guys. And the only thing you different now is that more what? men are doing it now. But what we what they bring to the table, I you know what I was I wasn't offended by the question. Yeah, it's the question was just, it was it's not offensive. Response. His it was response his, was his, just rude. It wasn't even offensive. It and the just, energy behind it was very aggressive. Right? <laughs> but isn't a, isn't rude but, offensive? 
I mean, I don't want to say it was rude. What I meant to was, say was it was just low vibrational. I like that word. To me, it was just very immature. Like mm-hmm. I didn't, I wasn't personally offended because mm-hmm. I wouldn't, I, I don't attract that type of me. energy. Right. Back to what we were saying. You know what I mean? Like I don't attract that type of energy. So I didn't feel personally, I just like, he ain't even talking to me. That was my instant reaction because eh, the vibration is just too low. I can't hear you. To <laughs> me. <laughs> too low. Go ahead, Sha. Um, I lost my train of thought. Um, she was talking about along the lines of offenses. Like, were you offended okay for by it? it okay, okay, right. Is it okay for us um, to ask? In, in, you know what I mean? I personally, I don't think, uh, like me personally, like Ashley say, that's low vibrational to me. I'd, I've never came out and asked somebody, well, what do you bring to the table? Mm-hmm. Because to me, with time, You'll a person is going to show you what they exactly. bring to the table. You don't have to ask. Because their mouth can say anything. Exactly. <laughs> Actions mm-hmm. speak louder than words. You know? If, if you keep them around it's long enough, they're right? going to show you what, what they can do. You don't have to ask that question you shouldn't have to ask that question a person is going to show you who they are yeah and then you can get when they they do believe them yep believe them and energy energy don't lie whether it's good or bad and i think a lot of what you need to know will come out as we always say when you communicate what your desires are with you where you Mm -hmm. are going what kind of life you want to live and also what kind of life he tells you that he wants and that he mm-hmm. sees for his future. And I will exactly. And ladies learn Thank to you, listen you. and stop talking. She a man is going to tell you what he you wants. need to know without you talking, because when you talk and you tell him X, Y, Z, he's just going to respond to what you are saying. No, okay. y'all need to learn to be quiet, sit back and let them do the talking. Don't nice. give them all the information for them to piggyback off of. Sit mm-hmm. back Fact. and ask the let question. Let that shit rock, baby. Like we say, mm-hmm. right. Let, EMV, let that shit rock, yo. Yeah. Listen yep. here. Let it rock. Listen right. here and comprehend. One, let it rock. one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. That's all you gotta do for yes. real, because right. that, that, that's how I went about my relationship with Omar. Because when I first met him, he just seemed like a fast talker to me, and he mm-hmm. was because he deals. He's I told you guys he's a software yeah. engineer, and he mm-hmm. deals with consulting. He used to he used to deal with consulting large firms, and mm-hmm. so he was. He's a salesman. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So he talk a good dang game. And so y'all know me. I'm gonna shut the fuck up when I really want to. So mm-hmm. that's what I did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't really have to ask him much. He did a lot of the talking. Right. We would just be at dinner. I'm eating my food. You know what I'm saying? Sipping on my good wine. You know what I mean? And I let him talk, you know, and because he was, he wasn't consulting and stuff like that. He liked to talk. You know what I mean? And he was really interested in me. So he was pouring his heart out to me. He could tell I was an empath and all those things like that. He felt comfortable. And so, um, you know, Cheyenne said it. Right. And a lot of times a man will try right. to di- divert the attention to you. No, shut it down and bring it back around to him. Mm-hmm. Answer, answer at least because women like to talk. You know, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. they like to hear Rambling. themselves talking a lot of times. So you they ask you a question, you done going on on a tangent. No, don't let them do that mm-hmm. turn around on, on you. The show all the right. time. <laughs> don't let them do that turn around on you. The short answers and bring it back around to him. That's right. That's right. I know that's what I do. Mm-hmm. What they say, them one ended. Yes, no. Yep. Let him have the open exactly responses. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, another that. reason why I say women get to, to just to stay in alignment with the with the topic that I had written down was one thing I was thinking about just watching content. And I don't, and see, here's the thing. Well, a lot of the podcasts that I listen to in my ear are, I'm very selective, number one. And then a lot of the stuff I watch on YouTube will be complete opposite of what I know, what I normally would listen to in my ear, because I watch a lot of stuff for entertainment pers- purposes and stuff like that. And I watch mm-hmm. other podcasts like us and stuff, you know, but one thing I was, I was starting to notice recently in the last couple of months was that it's almost like women don't even want to know what no. men want. They just, and I'm speaking specifically to heterosexual women, um, they don't even really want to know. They just expect to be accepted the way they are with all their toxicity. Broken and toxic. Mm -hmm. 
They just, mm-hmm. y'all don't really want to know what the fuck men want because it's not you. And that's right. going to be the bigger issue when you find out that it's not anything like what you currently are. <laughs> and you might be right. going all way through. Like, serious, Facts. real talk. Facts. Because I was that. I know it because I was that. I had to get my shit right or I was going to lose this man. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. And, and that's the bottom line. I told y'all mm-hmm. what was that episode um, probably was before episode 10. I was like, look, I got fucking lucky with all my toxic emotional baggage that this man mm-hmm. stayed around long enough for me to get together in a two year time frame before we got married. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? These men nowadays, Mm-mm. they don't have that kind of patience, y'all. No. Mm-mm. And I, I don't think they just, just don't like the love. Fight. They don't know what love is. You right. know what I mean? Like your that's husband true. loves that's you. True. That's love. Y'all still together. Like he loved you through that. You know what I mean? Like let you have your space and do what you need to do. But he still was there. You know what I mean? And that's, I, I don't know. I because just, he, because, because that's because he saw how she loves, loves herself. And a lot of, a lot of times, a lot of times that someone that does not know how to love themselves will end up meeting somebody that does. And sometimes they take a step back just to look and sometimes they don't. Mm -hmm. But in order to really know what love is, you got to love yourself first, because once you do, once you do that, that that'll shine so bright that person will be like, you know what? I like the type of energy that they're putting out. Mm hmm. So they want to say it'll to break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and, mm-hmm. and it's like, it's not, it's not, it's not hard. It's not something that you have to constantly overthink, but you have to be aware. Mm-hmm. Like I said, the energy that you put out, you're going to get back. Mm-hmm. You putting out low vibrational shit. Guess what? The whole day finna be fucking Amazon. Up. Yeah. Amazon going to, here you go. Next day. Boop. Right. Here's some low vibrational shit to you. Right. But I you got to get the nail on the head. First. For sure. Yep. I just don't think what you bring to the table is a question that could just be answered. Answered. Right. Then no. you have to you have to give a person, allow a person time to show you. Like, you know, most say all the time, like, you know, you and your husband, you know, he's the financial breadwinner of the family. And I'm sure as the provider and the breadwinner, you know, you're not just sitting back doing anything. You have to edify that man's mind. You have to push him. You know, you have, you're probably up with him. You working on his goals with him. This is the shit that people don't see. see you know? Right. You got to be with the definition exactly. of the backbone. You have exactly. to be the backbone of that you man. The backbone. Exactly. Here's the word. Y'all beep, 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 beep. The woman is the backbone. Mother. Exactly. The mm-hmm. And I said that in a couple episodes. Ago. Yes. But when you asked me that, remember, I was like, I couldn't put the word. I didn't word. word. I I said, said, the said it before me, but that's what I wanted to well, say. The woman the is backbone. the backbone and the backbone. You, know, you edify that man's mind. You help that's him right. push him towards his goal. You probably up with him late at night, racking through his brain and your brain, trying to figure out what the, what the next move is. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes you got to make him believe exactly. in himself. So sometimes, right. So whatever. sometimes it's not even about sex. It's not even about what she bring financially it's all it the shit other people support. don't see it's the it support to do with exactly it's the except support. for they say behind the every time. successful man is a strong woman, woman. Mm-hmm. facts mm-hmm. and I the strength you don't episodes, see so. is the shit that happens behind the scenes that's not mm-hmm. something you could tell somebody yes. Oh, what do you bring to the table and they answer no they they answer right. that shit by showing you mm-hmm. what exactly. they bring to the table and to piggyback ding, ding, off ding, of ding. what you guys were just saying just now, um, see, the only part that I agree with well that young said. man is, is that he alluded to the basically the fact that basically to the fact that the original content that we pulled from he and what I agree with him on just based on my own situation is that at the end of the day, they don't need us for none of that shit. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? And like we've been saying basically the entire episode, they it has nothing it, to do about whether you can wash his drawers. Right. Okay? That's, That's just something that 
You have to like be dying said, regardless. Yeah, because like he I said, said you can pay underwear. somebody. His shit gonna be right up in the long end. Right, right. right. Not as well, it has to be well done. Fucking do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. And it's not necessarily an obligation, but it's just something that has to be done. It's a chore. Right. I mean, somebody got to fucking do it. If I something happened to me tomorrow, he gonna have to do it for him and the baby. Right. You know what I'm it's saying? Fine. But you're not just, just there to be a housewife. Exactly. But, but or being a housewife has nothing to do with chores. Exactly. Exactly. Cheyenne just said. You know, it has nothing to, it has everything to do with what happens behind the scene to exactly. make the whole situation work, but it has nothing That's to do right. with chores. And, right. And, and it does have something to do with the babies because the babies, um, that's a life that you have to guide and to rear and to direct spiritually, Facts. mentally, emotionally, and physically. Um, and that is your obligation when you say yes to being a mother and you grow that baby in your womb. That's why you are a woman because you have a womb. Okay. And then to also piggyback off of what you guys were just saying as well, is that what I do agree with the young man and that he was alluding to and what I tell Omar Senior, what I've had to tell him or remind him thereof, because he already knows it, is that it doesn't matter what he does for a living. Whether I'm here or whether we split up or whether something happens to me and I'm no longer here, he's mm-hmm. going to do whatever the F he's doing. He's going to continue to do that. And so, sis, if you cannot be emotionally strong enough, spiritually wise enough to carry your, your spouse, whether it's a hetero relationship or a same sex relationship, if you do not have the, the, the capability in the cup and your cup is not running the fuck over like the Bible say, you're not going to make it. Mm-mm. That's how that's why wives commit suicide, because they wasn't full and their cup wasn't running over. And they didn't know how to, they didn't know how to, to, to do the self-care thing and to get the help to, to be able to run the household. Because no matter what your man is going through, whether he tell you what's going on at work, whatever money got lost, whatever money uh, didn't happen for the month or anything like that, you can feel it. You can feel it. Energy don't lie. If If you, if you connect it and if you're having sex on a regular basis, you can feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? And so like what Cheyenne was saying, you know, it's so much happens in, on the back burner of that thing. And I don't like to say, and I, I, I know what you guys are saying, but I don't like to say that, you know, that because of me, you know, or there's every behind every sex, successful man is a strong woman. I don't like to say strong anymore. And I don't, and I say that on purpose because I feel like it's the nurturing feminine aspects of a woman that really carries a heterosexual man through his challenges yeah, day that's day. been a real you know topic of debate, or the, just the fact that the black man, a woman, right. is always attached with the strong, with the strong, she's strong, strong. No, right? Yeah, that. that's yeah, definitely I'm a woman, woman man, W O M B, yeah, A N, woman. Okay, we make it for and it's we like give like what shit. I said the other day. It's like you get so you get to define what your I type mean. of strong is going to be. Mm-hmm. I don't even use that. You all no to I'm soft, but I'm strong. Like, <laughs> you, you get, but you still, yeah, yeah I know. Baby. Like using, okay, yeah, like you know, the the strong is so associated and, and connected with you know the black man has a, such a negative connotation to it. So when you hear strong, the first thing you think about is you know being strong all the time. But the mm-hmm. thing is, like you ultimately you get to decide where you want to be when it comes to that word. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what we that's gonna be a whole other topic because we got it on the list. We got a whole year and a half of content. Y'all see this shit? <laughs> this is content for a whole year yeah. and a half. Look at that shit. Because that shit. it's on the and, list, okay? Don't even and as Mo was um, as Mo was talking, I um, was sitting here thinking about there was another quote that came up is that that everybody will be in love with the results, but they don't want to deal with the process, process. the, the, the journey of that. getting mm-hmm. like. That just came that just came to mind because you know that you know turn up and this is because they see what end result is for somebody, but they don't know like all the struggles and stuff they had to get to that point. Just like mm-hmm. when a man and a woman and, and and they meet, you don't know where they are meeting, but they're meeting at a certain a certain level at a certain at a certain time. So I I want to say combine forces and like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all know y'all know I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. Yeah, about to get in Wonder there. Twin Power egg yes. activate and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and if you can honestly sit there and have a conversation with somebody with your phone away, your First phone away, all. if you got kids, if you can turn it off and turn it off and just have a, a real genuine conversation, the energy, the words, the body language never lie. If all those three add up, 
and it's genuine, then boom, it's an instant connection. If mm-hmm. any one of those, any one of those are off, red flag, <laughs> mm-hmm. flat out. And yeah. it's just like I had said before in previous ones, if that's the case and you're looking for someone that has certain, say, like I said before, seven qualities, how many of those, if they only have three of out of the seven, are you able to? The trade-offs we'd be talking about. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are your non-negotiables? Mm-hmm. What areas are you flexible in? Like mm-hmm. you're going to really have to sit, sit and think about even if, <laughs> even if before you go out and start dating, what are your Number non-negotiables? One, what are your boundaries? What is this? Mm-hmm. That's all right. What all are they? Coming up. They got to wait on it though. Y'all got to keep tuning in. Yeah. If they you coming. haven't listened to it, you better they come. go back. <laughs> we, got, we got an episode on compromise coming up. We got we got all that shit coming from you. So guys. much you is about to drop for you in the fucking head. Look, at least, that okay? idea about to be hot. So much is dropping. The black behind. Right. <laughs> we damn near. We damn near thirty <laughs> episodes in. Yeah, at, and we're three. no signs of stopping. We love Any y'all. Nice. <laughs> right. But yeah, you got YouTube is fucking... getting a little buzzing. Thank yeah, y'all. Hit that buzz. bell and subscribe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Get those Keep notifications. Yeah. Pull up on me. So <laughs> let's so let's let's do this, you guys. Let's do this. What can our heterosexual nieces and sisters do to prepare for that marriage or that long-term partnership that benefits their partner? And not them. Because that's basically what these men want to know. What is it that you can do for me in this relationship, in this marriage that benefits me and not directly you right away? But of course, you know, if you're in the same household, it's going to automatically benefit you. But you know what I'm saying? So my advice, work on yourself so that you could be in the vibration of what it is you want so that you could attract all the things that you want. Well said. She sold every one of them out (laughs) my mouth, okay? All I was going to say is be the best version of yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. She just said that. And so that, again, you can Mm -hmm. attract, vibrate higher vibes. Mm -hmm. If you're trapped in low vibes, like we said before, say it again, no, you're no part of the shit. equation you're vibing low and vice versa like you you get what you are you are yeah. whatever i don't know if i said no. that right but they say you know what i mean to piggyback <laughs> off of your, attract what you are to piggyback right. off of that you they say I mean? you know if you want love you give love if you yeah. want Facts. advice you give advice if yeah. you want it, if if you if you need a little extra food, give some food away. If you need some extra aunt underwear, some panties, some bras, some shirts, some pants, give some shit away. And that's what I do. Before yeah. I buy something, I give something away, put it in the little that's box. True. Y'all know what the Walmarts and stuff, they had the boxes and stuff. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Like when you when you get some new shit, you right. got to get rid of some old shit before shit though. Okay, right. when you go to the store, you got to get rid of the old shit first. And I believe that in every in every aspect. You know, um, that's why we just move because when we get rid of an old business, we usually move because we want to be somewhere new, somewhere fresh and, and start anew. You know what I'm saying? And not have to worry about any old baggage. Not that there was any baggage with this last situation, but just starting fresh. You know what I'm saying? And you got to do that with yourself when you that's why you got to listen to soul ties. You guys cut them. How you can. Yeah, that's a big How the one. fuck is that's y'all out here one. dating, not cutting soul ties? That's why they just they just stuck, yeah stuck. they doing everything backwards. Everything is just backwards. It's because like, they they want to they want things certain things ready or microwave effect. Like I always say, right. they, like they want it instant. They this is not the ramen noodles in the cup. This, no, this is not the popcorn mm-hmm. in the. Th- mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You still got if the you want and if you want anything to have <laughs> any type of longevity, court people, anything court. longevity, you must start with you. You got to start point with blank. You. And you, know, you have to, you have you to know be, when to listen. You, you have ahead. to know when to listen, listen to yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to hear yourself. You have to comprehend and understand your own thoughts because before anything comes out of your mouth, you really have to sit there with yourself and, and your stillness, not with the blasting, none of that shit. Go somewhere, go for a walk the fuck and have a conversation down with yourself. Right. Put your phone away and sit still with yourself. Because like I always say, you are your own problem and your own solution. Mm-hmm. That's why you have intuition yourself. for a reason. Mm-hmm. 
don't know what intuition is. I don't know what intuition is. It's nothing more than your your source of communication with with the spirit world and with the, our creator and the universe and the same and the ancestors. That's all it is. Your higher self. That's what That's higher it. self. So is. you're not crazy. Get familiar, okay? Get fucking <laughs> yes, familiar, you guys. Do. And when Salita was talking, it just reminded me as well is that when even if you're married and you're already engaged and all those things like that as well, there's always areas that we can improve upon. So I don't feel like this episode is just for single people. Reevaluate where you are with your relationship with your 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 betrothed or your married person. The work is never done. It's never no, fucking done. As soon as you start no. start slacking off, that's when somebody else winking at them and shit. This is real fucking talk, especially as these men get older, because I don't know what it is about men getting older with these gray hairs and they beards and shit like that. The <laughs> ladies be saying hello and shit like, bitch, where you come from? I don't even know you. Okay. It's a whole other. It's, it's demons. Go that levels, way. Demons get bigger. Right. Because men like look better when they get older. The, over there, yes, the but you know that's neither here nor there. I, I concur. Look, but my I man concur. still look exactly the goddamn same. Yes, he does. <laughs> and the goddamn <laughs> women the are exactly as still as thirsty. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, you know when. <laughs> You know, love is garlic. You gotta get some garlic for you, bitches. <laughs> love is the highest vibration, right? Yep. So when you're operating in the vibration of love, you you know, usually a lot of people that shows in relationships. So if right. you ever wondered why, when you are in a relationship, everybody start flocking around you, it's because you're at your highest vibration, and mm-hmm. people could pick up and on that. Picking up, yeah, that, that is fact. Go back and listen to that. That is fact. I have mm-hmm. had, when we go to like just a regular, like one time we was in Big Lots mm-hmm. grabbing something and it was me, Mike, and all of the, the children minus mm-hmm. love. I think love wasn't even thought about yet, but it was mm-hmm. the rest of us. So it was four, it was what, six of us at the mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. And this woman, Black from sister, she stopped me. She said, this is beautiful. And Good. it was funny because I was cussing out one of the kids because they was out of you order. Cousin? You know how you got to <laughs> get them up in the Black store. mama style so on I'm like, yes. hey. You want to go to the bathroom? No. no. I'm like, you can get it in right here. When you acting out, it's going to get out. You see, one of my children be really embarrassed. Okay, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother time. <laughs> but the point is, I was going in like mm. on the kid, like I was just about to go mommy in. Like, thing. Doing doing mommy thing. Yes. And she was just like, this is beautiful. She was like, this is just beautiful, sister. She was like, that, yes. Mm-hmm. She's just like, she probably had took her breath right. away. You know the what I mean? The Brady Bunch. Like, and the yes. fact that we looked so <laughs> young, like younger couple, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because- we didn't look how often do you see like a black family with that uh, big, a, yeah, that big, like with both right. parents mm-hmm. present? Right. You never see that. No, that's, that's what you I'm see saying. that in other. You see that a lot in other, other cultures, culture. but not so much in black culture. Mm-hmm. And we are both yeah. so mm-hmm. family oriented, so it's like right. The vibration be there. Get, people be attracting them. Kind of just, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So his other that is true. Too. That's definitely in true. relation to like things you could do to prepare yourself if you're not already married or betrothed is also if you don't if you if you single (laughs) and you're looking for marriage okay and you don't have any married friends friend i don't know what you're doing right but you need to get that ish together especially if you don't have any family who are married that can help you become a wife or become prepared as a man for marriage get you some married ass friends then people y'all work with y'all colleagues you fuck with them if they marry stick to them motherfuckers like glue because that shit rubs off you guys you don't know who it they know they might know they might have your soulmate around the corner or something i think i get said you that some married so friends. <laughs> women need other Facts. women to teach them how to be wives. Wow. And I think yes. you said that on Soul Ties or one of them other ones. We one of them. On so, it, yeah. One of these episodes I told y'all. I've been telling y'all yeah. for like mm-hmm. five, we talk, 10 we episodes. Get you some married friends. How you want to be married and you don't have any married friends? You don't have right. any examples. Right. And that, make right. Make sense. And you think your idea of marriage is what it is. That's why you're not married. That it's completely opposite. It's right. And, you and gotta I understand get that, you know, like your married friends, they can't go where you and can I'm, go at the hour mm-hmm. that you can go or talk as much as, you know. As your single friends, you just can't call them and they can just run and jump right. more and stuff like that. But that's a lesson. But that's the reason. Learn. Mm. Look, that's part of it. 
Boom. That's why you need them. So you can find wow. out what this shit is really like. So you can really make a decision as to whether this shit is for you or not. Because the shit ain't mm-hmm. easy. Okay. All right. Like it's hard everybody. Spot. No. No, you need I to mean, get you some, 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 some. If you're single and you want, if you're a single woman, had a woman doesn't even matter if you're same sex. If you're single and you want to be married, you need to get you a couple of married couple friends. This right. is real effing talk. Okay. It, it makes no, how does a millionaire become a millionaire if he ain't working with millionaires? If he Facts. ain't around money, it don't fucking work, you guys. If you hang around nine single oh, MFs, oh, you're gonna be the ten. So what you hang around single. with? Okay. If you Unless hang around ten, choice. now it's a bad nine, you got choice. That's something different, completely right. entirely different. If you're still healing, right. completely entirely different. Exactly. But while you healing, friend, get you some married ass friends. Okay. Right. Mm. Start hanging around mm. the motherfuckers. Somebody gonna show Immediately. up. Immediately. Yeah. So that's that energy. So you can start vibrating right. on that level. You feel me? You want to be an entrepreneur? Be entrepreneur your friends. Oh. All of that shit go hand in hand. Right. God damn. Let's I'm go. gonna tell y'all this shit. I ain't telling y'all shit this no, no more. This is the last effing time. <laughs> <laughs> like this lady on YouTube say, you can't want to be rich and then hang around people that's broke, busted, broke. and disgusted. Yes. Right. Don't You're gonna go. be the 10th one that's broken. You're going to be the 10th. Busted. You are what you, who you mm-hmm. hang around. That's it. Five people you hang around with. Five. That is it. One, two, three. I ain't telling five. y'all, like, we're not telling y'all not live your best life, you know, do that. But All also, the way get, up. get right while you're doing it. You know what I mean? Part you know? of living your I best mean, life Giving is your healing. energy away to everybody. Don't be, slow down with these one night stands, you guys, really, yes. for real. Because ain't nothing, ain't nothing. Giving away your seed, you giving away your womb and shit, man. Giving away. Mm-hmm. Just giving There's giving nothing giving. casual about Mixing sex. Mixing energies. Not you're a, t- you're a taking a... on another energy. I ain't saying you can't have okay. you a little friend, but I'm that you don't that know if it's a one people, night stand. Just all these different yeah. people, all these different bodies, all these different all soul these ties, different all these energies different mixed in you. baggage. You know yep. what I mean? And especially for the for the bros and the nephews, because you guys give away so much because you ejaculate. Huh. Life force. That's your whole. That's why the fuck y'all fall asleep after sex. You didn't gave it all away. Well, some, mm-hmm. of y'all, some of y'all like fucking rabbits and shit. Y'all niggas go all night long. I don't know. But y'all know what I'm saying. Then, okay? <laughs> Just give me all your semens away and stuff. I know you got to let it loose somewhere, but God damn, how many women do you need to do that with? Just get you a couple. Just maybe one or two. Most of these is pumps and the bumps in it a couple oh, more times like than the y'all. bumps and the bump. Okay. And sisters, <laughs> be careful about these men y'all attaching yourself to because it's it's very hard for us to have one night stands unless we really just need to get one on out. It's very hard to do without any emotional attachment. At some point, you're going to get emotionally attached to that man. We know Especially this. if you keep having it if with, you the, same, with the same right. person. You're going to fall in love. Now, if you're mixing it all around, and then again, you're That's taking on a lot of energies. And if you're yeah. wondering why everything is mm-hmm. fucked up in your life, it's because That's you're it. fucking everybody. They, and confused. all this energy is just not, it's not ever going to work. This is your lady we follow on instagram that also follows us and she's a podcaster and she's into kink life and but the reverse to that is she's a very spiritual person and it's very interesting to watch her story and to listen to her journey on her podcast because she talks about how she is she does a lot of self-energy work because of her lifestyle. And she's not somebody that's fucking off every fucking week or nothing like that. But when she has a good time, she has a good fucking time. You hear me? Um, and she, it's very interesting to watch her because she's very she's very aware and very awoke. And although she lives an alternative, alternative lifestyle, she still seems so grounded to me. Like she's not somebody in the lifestyle that's messy and just seems all over the place. She seems very grounded. And I, I got to give her her props. So like, that's what yeah. I'm saying. That's all I'm really saying is that yeah. if you're going to be out there doing your thing, calculated. do your, your research. Yeah. Do your no. smudging. Okay. Do get your all research and get right. Get it together. You can, it's possible, but it takes a lot of work, a lot of discipline and a lot of spiritual work. And maybe we that's the problem. We're not doing enough spiritual shit. Right. You really got to know yourself. I, if, you know, yeah. We, we get out here, like we do daily life, and we forget. Um, sometimes we forget to meditate. Sometimes we forget to pray and say thank you. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes we just, like Salida said, sit the fuck down and just be quiet. You know, we forget to do that, too. And um, so, yeah, get y'all spiritual shit up, y'all. Yes. It, uh, like it is, dummy. Get it together. Very important. 
very, very yeah, important. Spiritual, right. That's also yes. on the list in the next couple of weeks. We'll be talking about that, how to get spiritually unstuck. So be on the lookout for that, you guys. So Any last word for the people? So nope. Have a wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, so <laughs> <sweet>. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just do better. We done set we, it all. Right. We said it all. Just do better. Yeah. That's all I got. Just do better. better. Like don't yes. don't talk about you want something better and you're doing the complete op- opposite like the rough. Nah, F that. Mm-mm. Life not getting longer, it is getting shorter. Definitely is, especially with this delta Just, do better. Just do better. That's that's it. Elevate do better. Everything. Beans, Wear your fucking glow. mask when y'all outside. Okay. Wear y'all mask and shit. COVID ain't dead. <laughs> I here killing didn't people. sing tonight. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, Ashley ain't give us no song tonight. Like, we got well, maybe it'll come out. Maybe it'll I'm come not out even in the singing shit. mood. So y'all gotta break this week. <laughs> uh, I'm singing. All right. So now we're gonna move into the spiritual shit. So Lita, you got the deck ready. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, I was did. trying at to get a feel. <laughs> Of, of what cards <laughs> like i know like i'm gonna do um that's a mess affirmations and then i'm also going what to happened do, uh, to the new cards the self-care she did it last new- week oh. i did it last week because mm-hmm. that's how I'm we got on the ropes yeah she didn't woke up like hey right she was clenching her pearls <laughs> <last> told you <laughs> woke up like a uh, soldier boys what <laughs> <laughs> We'll go real quick. <laughs> yeah. That was just that's, sitting here. That's <laughs> my favorite clip of him. Listen, that whole breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that whole shit was hilarious. You hear me? I watch it at least once a year. So right. I watched it the other day. Like, oh. I like that one. In them three seconds, baby was on there and said, all oh, trees, yes. motherfuckers. Yes. All oh, trees. Yes. He oh, said, all trees, all trees, motherfuckers. That's the olive way. See, yeah, the South, funny. the South talk like some of their um yeah, lingo yeah. is kind of mm-hmm. like the islands yeah. because the mm-hmm. islands say tree, they don't yeah. say tree. That's oh, the American. Right. Yeah. They yeah. say tree. All tree. All tree. All tree. All tree. Put some respect on my name. Put some right. respect on my name. Girl, his voice was quivering. Talk about Ooh. put some respect on his name. That nigga was mad. As I'm about to- I said, ooh, because I watched it. I ain't here. I watched it like right at like probably the either the day or the next day. I think it was the same day. I said, Mike, you see this shit? No, he <laughs> so I said, is this a game? I'm like, he was dead ass. ass. That nigga was dead ass. He was in his feelings. He was mad as shit at them. Panties was in a bunch. Yeah. Panties was in a bunch. <laughs> Who's the boy funny though? Isn't he? Right. He is funny. Yeah. Yes. He is funny as hell. I can watch his silly self. Yes. He, he is funny. Fast, though. He pulled okay. all the effing yes. that night. Yes. All right. So yeah. I went ahead and, Come on. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Are we ready? You wanted me to just go ahead and do some more, like, kind of just like live shuffling. But the card that actually came out of the Moonology deck, it says, and those of you, if you are subscribed on our YouTube channel, then you will see this lovely card. It says, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful card. It is, of course, the moon, and it has a woman on it, and the color is green. And I automatically think of the heart chakra. A lot of people assume that the heart chakra would be red. That's your root chakra. Your heart chakra is actually the color green. And if you want to get technical about it, it's also the color for money. Mm -hmm. You know, but just real quick says here, it is time to be really honest with yourself and understand what what's let lead you to ask your question. Have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing? Humility is a good, but it can go too far. And drawing this card suggests you may be underrating yourself. You don't have to be flash, just quietly certain, quite certainly that you are good enough. At the other end of the scale, you also need to honestly answer this question. Have you been too picky? The full moon in Virgo card needs some truthful answers. And once you've given 
given them, it should be easier to see how you you got where you are. Your next step should be then to be more obvious to you. Pay attention to the details. So in order to pay attention to details, you got to sit still. Sit still. Hard work brings results. Find a balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your daily life. So additional meanings for this particular card, I will show it again for those of you that are subscribed on our YouTube station. Worrying too much will attract more things to worry about. Have you been overly critical? An apology may be in order. Stop stop second-guessing yourself. Raise your karma doing something good for someone else. And I'm going to actually go ahead and pick an affirmation card that I hope leads you through the entire week, maybe the whole month, maybe the whole year. I don't know. Write it down. Take a picture. That way you have it later. No, they trying too many cards. <laughs> and the lovely card that came out was, I will hold myself to a standard of grace not perfection. If you want to see the card, it actually has the color purple on it. So. Goes right in the line. Goes, goes right so the do better, be better, sit with yourself, look for answers. The only way out is in. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so glad that that came up because if you stay tuned for BWH Two Cents, It'll also Boom. Uh, align with that episode because this mm -hmm. week we have uh, two letters for you guys from some family members. Quite juicy and um, not juicy like, you know, we trying to gossip or nothing, but, you know, just it's some thick, real ass situations thick. that I'm pretty sure a lot of other people go through or have been through. And Bam be it. going through it. Going the fuck through it, you guys. Bam be going through it, okay? Listen, listen, listen. They be out here. We need to stay a fuck away from these people from high school because it seems like everybody's <laughs> having issues with motherfuckers from high school. Okay. Okay. Listen. listen. Don't revisit. Do Even past um, them. Yeah, I'll say it off here. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cut them souls eyes, y'all. It's time. Oh, no. Okay. Cut them and know that you are enough, like the, like the terrorist oh, yeah. said for the night. Make sure you know that you know that you are enough. You know that you are enough. Yeah. Keep reminding yourself that you are enough. Write that shit yeah, down. Nah. Put it on yeah. your mirror. Write it down. Smudge it. Burn it. Do whatever you got to do. Okay. Flip it so, down. Oh, no. So, Listen, Say, I, I didn't take it to a hole talking about some man. Enough. <laughs> I can't. One more time. I, I, that, I can't. Am <laughs> enough. Hit that bell and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Because you're enough. Email.com. <laughs> okay, that's the remix. Scoop it, scoop it, scoop it. And we out this mother. Hey, kiwi, kiwi, kiwi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>